Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is either going to be so epic and funny or it's gonna be so sad that I'm afraid to post it because I don't wanna make people upset or it's gonna be a total fail. Today, you guys, I'm gonna prank the heck out of my bratty kids. Okay, so I got the food. I have to tell you what my plan is before I get home to the girls because I don't want them to know. I suck at pranks. I always laugh hysterically. I get nervous and then I laugh even more hysterically. Like, I can't do pranks, but today I'm gonna really try. I'm gonna really try and we're gonna get to see what happens. So basically, I'm gonna try and rig it so that I'm laying in the field with blood on me, on my head, passed out. I'm gonna try and make it look like one of the horses kicked me. And then the girls are gonna come and walk out and find me. And then you guys are gonna get to see, hopefully, how everybody acts in a crisis. How Gabby just gets to work and just is like this crazy smart girl or and Sophie freaks out and loses her mind like you guys are gonna get to just see it all or I'm gonna start laughing and they're gonna realize that the blood on my face is ketchup or it's just not gonna work out or I'm gonna lay on the ground in the field and the horses are really gonna stamp on me I always want to do a prank but I never can do it today's the day you guys today's gonna happen pray pray for me Pray, pray, just pray guys. Okay, I left early and the girls did the chores without me. I see they're still down at the barn. So I'm gonna have to be super sneaky. So, this is my plan. Oh, Gabby's on her way back. Do you think the girls would notice if I carried a bottle of ketchup secretly in my bra down to the barn? I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get that down there. I actually don't have a plan. I'm actually already nervous. I'm actually already sweating. Like, oh, it's Sophie coming up. I'm already freaking out. We have one and a half hours till riding time. One and a half hours. We ride at 10.30. It's 9 a.m. <sighs> okay, you guys. I'm gonna do this, though. I'm gonna lay in the field with blood on me and let the girls find me. Great parenting right there, right? In my defense, you guys should know that my kids are brats sometimes. Like, every kid deserves a wake-up call every once in a while. Shh, here comes Sophie. Hey, Soph. Oh, hi, Gabby. All right, so for snacks today, every week I go to the grocery store one day and I pick up snacks for our trainers and for the girls to have while we ride. So today we got chocolate muffins. Um, Gabby, Sophie requested popsicles. They only had this kind. It's okay. It's okay? Yeah. Apple juice and feed it to my horse on my hand. You want to take apple juice and feed it to your horse in your hand? Let me guess it's for Fiona. Yeah, it's for Fiona. But I mean, I, I got, got two. two of them. So why do you want to do that? Because I want to see if they like apple juice. All right, I, I want well, to do it too. I want to drink some too. All right, well, we won't waste it. So we got a Wonder Bar for Gabby, but it's not for now, Gabby. I know. It's for I after you do a good job, Gabby. It's a treat. It for a while, I'm right. I got popsicles for you. Did you say you wanted a chocolate bar? I said, Sophie, do you want a chocolate for bar? the ice cream part. And you said, I want popsicles. Instead of ice cream. Well, I have some chocolates down at the barn already. Plus I have chocolate muffins that Gabby's already ripping into. So we already have a breakfast. So also, oh, I want this. That's mine. This is $5. I want it. This little thing, I think we should all split it. And this is Loop. Is Morning plums? Glory Orange Clementine Juice. Are these plums? Those are plums. They're fat. What? They're fat, I know. They smell good. Yeah, good chocolate muffins, good fat plums. Anyways, those muffins are for everybody. So anyways, I bought this because I love, this is pressed juice, cold pressed juice. Like it's it's actual juice from a juicer. Let's try it. All right, let's try it. So I bought that for me. I also bought these for me because I love these things. Sparkling ice, uh, coconut pineapple flavor. water. I hate mm. that flavor. You hate that flavor? Yes, it's all for me. That uh, doesn't mean I won't drink it though. 
Oh, yeah, of course, you'll drink it just to, just to have it. See, sometimes kids need. I wanna try some. Yeah, let everybody try it. She's gonna let you try it, relax. It so it's I also like bought. orange juice, but it has some, um, what is it called? What's that sour thing that? Is it good though? Grapefruit. Mmm, I like love grapefruit. grapefruit. So I brought apple juice for Fiona because Whoa, Fiona what likes is it. That? that is a giant bug. Kill it. Kill it. Wait, I need to examine it. I did your flash. It's not even good. I literally don't even love it. I'll and I paid it. five dollars for it. I'll have it. I thought it would be way better than that because two of my sons went to college in Toronto and when we would go and visit, there's a grocery store just down the road from them in Toronto, like a big huge city. We live in like a tiny little City. <laughs> anyway, so I like the Toronto Mall because yeah. they have Teslas in the mall. You're having eggs? Oh, you're doing your Okay, so at that little at the grocery store they did fresh pressed juice and oh my gosh, it was so good. Like oh it was amazing. I buy snacks for our coaches they are so kind to us like they come to our house for goodness sake they come to our house they don't charge me more I love them they're so good to us they do more than just train us like they're friends and they're just amazing so that's why I buy snacks for them I just want to make it nice for them when they come here and that's the other thing. It's always good to do nice things for people that you care about. Here's it's even nicer to do nice things for people that you don't care about. I still suck at that, but I'm trying. What? Who's friends with who? I'm friends with our coaches. Here's some apple juice you can try with the horses. I'm gonna go do it right now. Mm -hmm. Good for Okay, so Gabby wants to, and Sophie, want to try and give our horses, come on, Soph, horses apple juice in their hand. The barn is a big, huge mess, so I'm gonna have to clean that quick. See, if you belong to Gabby, and she calls your name, you come running. Nobody's running. Let's see if Stormy comes to me. Stormy! Wouldn't it be amazing to see them come flying over that hill, racing toward us? Oh. Finny! Finn. Oh, I see them. Finn. They're ignoring us. Finn. Oh, Finn's looking. Finn's like, I hear you. Finn. Don't don't waste it. Chino. We don't Chino likes to go off on his own now. No, he always likes it. Yeah. Chino, come on. Come on, Chino. Come on, Bino. Those are fighting words. Come on, lazy bones. Oh, here comes Chino. Watch one comes and then they all come. We got a treat for you. We don't have halters. Molly's like, welcome. Oh, all right, let's go storm one. Oh my gosh, you're gonna make us walk all the way. Do storm and then Sheena will come. Hi, Finn. You don't have hot Hi, bud. He's a picky boy. He's like, mm, I don't like apple juice. I love Finny. <laughs> all right, let's try Finny. He says that was kind of good. No, nope. Chino. He's looking at Sophie. Like, what do you have for me, Come Soph? On. I don't know why Chino wants to be on his own all the Chino. time now. Come on, Chino! I literally have anxiety walking through this grass. You don't know if there could be a snake. Well, you know what? 
You can tell me, you can tell us what happens because I'm getting the heck out of here. Oh, he looks like he likes it. I don't think he likes it. He's drinking it from the straw. Drinking it right from the cup. He's biting it. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, if there's a snake, it's getting stomped. I'm pushing Sophie right down on top. <laughs> what if there's a bunny? What if there's a bunny? I don't like bunnies that much either. Bunnies live over there. Because of the back. scare effect, how they just jump out. Anyways, you guys should know that the horses don't spend all their day in this big tall grass. They spend like such a short amount of time. Tall grass is actually healthier for them than short grass. Because short grass has more sugar. Short grass is distressed, so it sends a lot of sugar into it to try and repair it and grow it. This tall grass is dead. It's got nothing like good in it. But they spend all night in, a, in the paddock with no grass. So they were only on grass half the day. It's good that the horses have their breakfast now because they always ride so much better after they've eaten a nice, good, solid breakfast. So the plan is to ride Chino, Finn, and Storm, and then Chino, yeah, we have to ride Chino after because the farrier wants us to keep riding him. Um, Finn and Storm, we're gonna try Stormy first. We're gonna try Finny first. If he can't ride, then get, so he, they're both gonna ride Storm. Storm can do an hour lesson. All right, let's get this barn clean. Our little area. This is Hurry. <laughs> so this is our little area. If you see, in this, this is a little play zone for the kittens. You can see the kittens. Wow, what a mess. We took that away from them because they kept pulling it. So they're way in there. See, here's Ollie. Here comes Ollie. And then the other one's in there too. I see her little nose. I see her eyes. I don't even know how to separate these horses because they're in the big field eating the grass now. The like cut closed and scabbed over. He was not lame anymore. He's separating fine. them means like it would be a nightmare trying to separate them. We're gonna get them not. Oh, one in each field. At night. At night. All right. Beneath well, the field with no grass. We'll put Storm in his own field at night, and the other two together. Okay. Okay. Oh, but that's true. We need to not have them on grass. Like they need some time off of grass so they don't founder. Put them off of grass in the day. Ooh, that's a good idea too. And put them in the field. With the you field are just night. full of ideas. No, it's kind of called common sense. Common sense. You are so full of common sense. So I'm gonna go down there and get like the arena ready and stuff. Pick up any poop that I see. It makes me nervous though, with Chino still in the field because sometimes I swear like. Oh yeah, Chino's following us. Yeah, they get pushy with me. Because you let them get away. With because I let them get away with stuff, I know, but it makes me nervous being out there by myself in the field. What do you think Gina's gonna do? Lunge at you and attack you? Kick me. Sometimes I get, like, I almost got kicked the other day by Storm. He barely by Chino. Kicks. What? Chino barely kicked. It was Chino that almost kicked me because, because Storm, came, Storm, up Storm came up and bit him. So. There's Chino out here. He's like, if I can't be with my boys, bros before. Well, you guys know what it's, how you say it. Bros before these things. But if I can't have my, my bros, then I might as well go with the, with the girls. Molly, you can come protect me. Even though I'm sure I'll be fine. Hi, Molly. Molly will she? actually attack, like, attack Molly. Oh, I don't want him to attack Molly. Maybe bringing Molly is bad. Mom, Molly, let's go out and clean the field up. There's Chino. All right, where am I gonna hide the camera? It's gotta be in here somewhere. I don't want them to see. There's a big pile of poop right there. I don't want to land in that.
<laughs> you smell like ketchup. <laughs> so for the future, don't use something that smells like ketchup. Right? I know my ketchup. <laughs> and Chino would be too sad. It's Chino was sad. Like, Did you see him coming to me? Yeah. I can't hear very well. I'm pretty sure Gabby looked out the door and laughed. And I don't know what happened with Sophie. But I think eventually she did believe me because I was calling her. And then she's like, you're bleeding. And then she got closer and she's like, I smell ketchup. I think with anything, practice makes perfect. I do two more pranks and get better at it. But that was pretty good. Like for my first real try, that was pretty good. Oh, I will get fake blood next time. See, that looks alright. <laughs> so what did you do? I couldn't hear anything. I just looked and I'm like, ha ha. You know what Good we're job. <laughs> you know what would have been snorting at least. Even if he didn't run off, he would have been snorting. Why? Because he'd be fresh after he kicked you. Uh, like, you oh should get God, something that it, it, it looks like you had like a huge cut on your forehead. I did? No, no. you need to get that fake stuff. All right, well I'm let's plan a fake thing for dad, okay? I'm prank dad, I'll back find back. us a prank blood kit. All right, so, ooh, I do look good, actually. Uh, I smell ketchup. Whoa. And it looks orange. Too. But, I mean, I did a good job with the ketchup. No, no, you didn't. I did. Blood would be dripping down. It is dripping down. Not just, ugh. And there's, like, literally no entire cut. Literally, ketchup is itchy in the summer. Ugh. Not joking. Gabby. Ugh, can't wait to get it off me. Yuck. I feel like we've hardly showed the ponies lately, but we do do stuff with them. We still spend time with them. Oh, I see what's happening. Jealousy. You're letting her have him. I think this little mini likes Storm. You like Storm? And Gracie. Oh my God. She has her head out the thing. What are you thinking? Like what? That's not what we do. Proper ladies do not flirt with boys like that. Hussy. She's like, leave me alone. I need me some boys. Mom. We all know Gracie likes boys. I just remembered what you said. What? I've been kicked. Cheeto kicked me. He ran through me. Is that what I said? Yeah. I was suffering from a head wound. I don't even remember. You've been kicked. Then you've been run through. Then he ran through you. But Chino would literally feel so bad. Were you nervous when I said it? Or what, no. like, you weren't nervous even when I said it? I saw... Whoa. Yeah, you got shocked. What That's you... what happens when you flirt with boys. You get a shock. What do you expect? Boys are know? no good. So, um, yeah. I saw Gabby's face. How many vests do you have on? Oh, just one? These are her Equizen clothes. I love them. Yeah. I need Equizen pants. Like breeches. Equizen, do you have pants? I'll message them. Anyway, ponies are still hanging in. They're still doing good. They're back to like normal weight again since the whole grass, whole grass thing. Okay, Willow be looking good. You can't find your half pad? I'm trying to. I'm trying You're to. trying the half pad today? Yeah. Oh. See, this is a problem. When you can't hear and you've turned the water on and then you walk away, you can't hear it. Like, I can't. Oh, yeah, I can hear it standing right here. I don't know how much the camera caught because I don't know how far, if it was too far away. If, I don't know what happened. I wish that, like, I need to work, well, I need to work on my pranks, guys. That was fun. I think we should also prank Kaylee. Like, I think that would be an easy one. You guys want to prank Kaylee, too? We shouldn't tell them, though, because they'll all go to her and be like, Kaylee, they're going to prank you. What time is it? All right, we are almost. No, because we wouldn't be good actors. I know, we're not awesome actors. Because you're not a good actor, you use ketchup. <laughs> there will be no more ketchup using in this family. Uh, it's, you got like, she said 10.30, quarter to 11. So I think you guys should be out there at like 10.30, warming up maybe. So another 10 minutes. So that would be 10.26. All right, well. You still well, have ketchup on your nose. I still have ketchup on my nose? Oh my gosh. Yuck. All I smell can you, now? Can you bring me my girth? Where is it? Somewhere hanging up. Somewhere hanging up. It's, yeah, that. I used to not know all this stuff, you guys. I used to like, used to be like Chinese. Whoa. Used to be like Chinese to me. Vinny, you think you're going to be okay to ride? Yeah? All right, so Sophie's trying her new half pad that she got. Like, we got that for 25 bucks, and that's an expensive one. 
My girls but are. If I never use it, I'll sell it. Oh no, if you don't use it, we'll keep it because we always need that. Took me forever to find a cheap one. And Gabby uses hers all the time and I'll be getting a horse and you never know when we're gonna need it. Don't you know?